Hello and welcome to episode 19 of Youth Squad Legends with Ipswich Town. We got relegated in the last episode. We're back down to the championship. The change in the formation. There's a narrow diamond in midfield with one of the centre bikes being pushed up to central defensive midfield. That still allows the wing backs to get forward. This could be the key to unlock everything. Roll the intro! <laughs> I can't wait to sink my teeth into this season. Dropping back down to the championship with a team looking like this means that we don't really have any league worries. We got Europa League on top of it. No one is changing my mind. This is going to be a great season with a lot of positivity. We open it all up. Even though we're in the championship, we were invited to the Community Shield after winning the National Cup, the FA Cup here in England. I think we're all good. It's going to be exciting and a little bit scary. I think daunting at times, Martino and Okamura class defenders but now playing as a two center back partnership and not aided by a third uh, goal hopefully will drop in on occasions to add that man but goal's main objective is to apply height into a midfield that is lacking Ipswich Town against Tottenham Hotspur questions are about to be answered for the curtain raise up to the new season can we play as a four-man defense how good is Aubert after taking a punt on someone that I just had good feelings about? Will goal nullify the opponent's obvious height advantages over us? First couple of uh, touches for him. Rolling the ball around. Aubert's trying to make a move. Shadows are awful on this stadium. I do apologize. You can see with the slick passing that something has definitely clicked. Sanchez does more running back and then there's a mistake into Aubert. Through ball. Lemming Seca on his return. Okamura and Martina have swapped sides. There's the interception or the tackle from Bilgem. And then very good composure to get away from the slide tackle himself. Goal is looking classy. Aubert's still got the question marks about him. Although that is a completed pass. And now we've got it to Aubert. Trying the ball roll. Big thumbs up so far for the holding midfield. He's doing exactly what was needed. This is Ibna. Not winning the header. Goal's on it. And now Bilgem, <laughs> the left bike trying to pop. Aubert on the edge. Oh, flies a shot in. Good save by, is that Jeremy Clarkson? Hold on. Here comes the corner kick. Okamura with a free header. And the goalkeeper's let it go in. It is Yuzuki Okamura. Ipswich Town are leading against Spurs. The Premier League champions are behind. And all of a sudden... There's a different feeling around this club. What has gone on? Ipswich Town looking very good. Yuzuki Okamura. I think that's the first time that I have scored with him. I know I've seen him occasionally pop up with a goal on the simulations. Downward header. What is the keeper doing? Get in there. Get in there, Yuzuki. Big man, Yuzuki. In FIFA 22, we have been blessed with some great centre-backs. Okamura, Martina, totally up there. Bilgem's taking the ball and Eibner's got tons of room here. Aubert finally making a difference. Go I mean, goal is just flicking around the place like he's been here four years, four seasons. Gets another interception off. Wow! Nearing the end of the half. Where has Bilgem gone? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I tell you what, that's a hell of a finish. I think it's Sanchez sticking it top corner. A fly over to Conte. Good finish there by Spurs. A 1 1 and a little bit exposed, but it was more on Bilgem. Don't really know where Bilgem was going at left back. I've not did all his best trying to track back Okamura, trying to cover as much ground as he possibly could on the floor make himself big but finding the top corner with a volley like that is pretty exceptional it's a good half of football by Ipswich but the score line is 1-1 Martina will not get beat that easily it's not the slowest defender in the world yes well done Ibner actually go down the wing 
There'll be someone there available. I mean, second might have got a little bit lucky with the touch. Back stick, finished! Finished beautifully, emphatically! Giannini, oh my goodness! I hope you like the new home kit, by the way, on show. Celebrating right in front of the Spurs fans. Love to see it. What a cross. Lamin Seca feeling great. Fantastic return so far. This finish. Technically, one of the best ones that we've seen all series. From a technical standpoint, little fingertips there by Jeremy Clarkson, but not enough. This goal kid can play ball, mate. He is, uh... You, know, you want me to tell you who he's reminding me of? Because, uh... It is quite the comparison. Vassal Malachius Jr., anyone? We're playing great against the Premier League champions. Just lovely, lovely passing. That will drop to Ibner. Here's goal. Ocon. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. It's all there for Aubert. Wow, by Ipswich. That is absolutely outstanding football. We have cracked them open. They're standing around like statues. That movement, the movement there. We had two players going forward. Aubert then drifts into the space. All of a sudden, he's in the six-yard box with no markers. That is unreasonable. Good header as well. Great tackle by Wesley Martino. He really threw his body weight behind that. He's got the ball as a result, as a reward for his personal sacrifice. Goal just moves the ball on. Oh, he's gone for the scorpion kick. No problems with playing as a four bike. The only thing that I noticed that's giving me a little bit of worry is that Yuzuki Okamura really likes to move across and help out Wesley Martina with interceptions. And he might lead us to be very open on the far side. That's very, very close to the goalkeeper. Deep into out of time and it's not been necessary to make any changes. Win that. Okay, defensively. We look really, really good. That's 3-1 Ipswich. We've won the Community Shield against the Premier League champions. Let's see the trophy lift. We just fixed up a lot of problems that we were having. The difference is so massive that goal's gonna become like one of the great, great Youth Squad Legends players. If he keeps on doing those kind of performances, I mean, the difference between relegated Ipswich from last season and what we've got with him in the team, it, vastly different and so much better. That was an Ipswich team without the monster that we are cooking up on loan. Why is Mankitam? When he comes back from loan and he's in the 80s, he is going to be some player. Getting into the championship, one of our more difficult games through the season to kick us off. It's away against Burnley. Winning here would be massive. Quicks in Burnley against Ipswich. And there it is. Winner by Abelward in the 85th minute. Hertha Berlin have expressed an interest in signing Mohamed Bolde. He's got some potential, 20 years old, 72 overall, only the 4.85 million pounds offered, so I don't want to really accept it. Balde could have been one of the players that we got rid of, but not at that price. Second game, take Giannini off, Geraldo up there. Pretty sure he was top goal scorer in this competition two years back. That's why we signed him up. He was so impressive against us. Gotta be honest, completely forgot if we sold or loaned out our backup right back option. Shenton's there for now. Ipswich Town, Queen's Park Rangers. Do we even need another backup right back? Ocon is so dominant in that position. Slightly disappointing there at 0-0 without the captain featuring. John Acore's out on loan, but he wasn't really considered the backup right back. Bill Gem's preferred foot is right, but he's so good as a left bike, that's not even an option. So Chad Shenton really does become our second choice right back. EFL Cup time, it's Ipswich Town against Hartlepool. The quick sim result is a 3-2 victory for Ipswich. A hat-trick by Belchior. A little bit loose there from the defence. Most of the first team fit for the trip to Bristol. Ferguson in the lineup, replacing the slightly tired Westberg. The quick sim. A solid enough draw away 
Belchior scoring again. The defenders be wearing the championship. It looks like Belchior is going to make a charge for the golden boot, but he's got a lot of goals to catch up with already as Seacad has scored seven. It is August the 16th. It's a real player. Can't sign him up. Ipswich down at home against Reading. Let's make this a win. That is not a win. That's horrific. Geraldo scoring our goal. Oh dear. We will not get promoted quickly with results like that. Going to Norwich now could compound the misery. Please get a win on the road. No, we have lost. And Parry missed a penalty. Seacan scored. Wow. Chad Shenton happy to turn into a right back. Ajax have expressed an interest in signing Tommy Kirk. That's the centre back that doesn't really see that much game time. I don't think he's got significant potential. Might have reached it already. And this is this is a big amount of money. We could happily just wander into the transfer market and sign another centre back up. It's Ajax, man. Look, surely they've got some really, really interesting interesting regens available how about in the center back department they've only got three that's probably why they want this kid which means that they might be desperate let's go all the way up to 30 million pounds and that is accepted whoa a good enough center back probably would have had him all the way through the series but 30 million pounds is very acceptable indeed. Stefano Serra, 86 potential, he's 21 years old, playing for Real Betis at the moment, he's six foot three. Oh, oh, 92 standing tackle? Valuation 39 million, that's in euros. If we play our cards right in the negotiation, we could get that guy for an absolute bargain and a half. We probably have like a serious amount of money in the bank. Money is not a problem. There's Tommy Kirk. Yeah, he's only got 80 potential. Hit up a land. Oh, can we get him back? I'm not going to lie, lads. I completely forgot that Hit up a land existed because he was the toxic terror at the start of this series, wasn't he? So it was just like, okay, let's move on from him. Put him to the back of the minds. Maybe he's matured. Tell you what as well, he's so well-rounded. He's 72 overall up top. It's absolutely the play. Or maybe we get both. We might have the money to get Sarah and Poland. He's called Bogdan Bogdanov. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Robert Monksworth's quest is to see a Conquo's press. Just sees Settle's mess. Six foot one striker. Sorry, this save has just popped off. I can't resist the urge to sign him. What a great name. £9,000 a week wages. Easy. That's an easy sale. Hit up a land. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the red doesn't suit you. Let's get you back in blue. Apparently is more expensive than 15 million. It's cool. We'll come back in a week's time. Low, low work rates on Stefano Serra. Little bit of a put off. Is there anything that we could offer to like offset the amount of money that this is going to cost. They do want Mohamed Balde. That does offset it. It's a good deal brewing here. 53 million pounds. Oh, yes. What a deal on the table. Good to know that the 83 overalls are still happy to sign up for Ipswich Town. Pretty sure we got strict negotiations on, but we might have matched all the criteria. Current wage is 75 grand. Match it. Reasonable offer. He signed up. EFL Cup, Walsall against Ipswich Town. Yes, we've brought out the first team and it's a 4-3 win on penalties. It's draw for the Europa League. There's Ipswich Town and we are in Group D with Roma, Legia Warsaw and I didn't see the last one. Panathinaikos, you're missing the S. Before we forget about him completely, massive respect to Mohamed Balde was one of the brighter sparks from the academy. It's difficult to break into the centre-back team that we've got. The sale is not completely to waste because now we've got Serral, and that's amazing. Lots of chops and changes. Ipswich Town against Fulham. Please win. Please win. Yes, Bill Gem and Giraldo. Tommy Kirk has been sold to Ajax for £30 million. Pounds. Fleeced him. That Stuart kid who used to play for Stoke City is now playing for Dortmund. Greg Todorov going to Leicester. Jack Stewart going to Borussia Dortmund. Chyprasit 
to Leverkusen. Sure, all three are wonder kids from my Patreons. 33.7. We're accepting it. Whatever you want, Hiddo. Let me hear it. I will give it you. The reunion. Five years on the contract. Why are you trying to reduce that? This is your home. You know that this is your home. 34 grand. Hiddo Poland is back at Ipswich. We are going to get some big success. The team has been built. Can Teco Tall cross? 74 crossing, indeed he can. The Senegalese man might have a different role to play in this team and something where his height doesn't actually matter that much in the left back or right back spot. This is a sight, hit a planned, been welcomed back by the media and Bobby Monk. 33.7 million. Still the lads down here, 58 overalls, 60 overalls. We're trying to loan list them. No interest whatsoever. Bogdanov has come in as a 67 overall. Bit of a sick note, because I think Buckland would have been a very good player, but if we can't get this low now, he's done. He's, they're all done, the ones that are 60 and below. We've got no time left in the save. Transfer window closing, I'm ever so sorry. And it's time to say goodbye to Juskot, Schneider, Steeman, Jonathan McKnight and Fabrice Buckland. The lads didn't get a chance. And that's sometimes how the cookie crumbles. But right now we have a team consisting of 38 players. Lowest overall is Sung Joe and Bogdanov. Andy Parry's out on international duty. So it's an easy replacement to Andreas, but it won't allow us to do it on this menu. I'll quick sim it. Should be all good. Preston North End against Ipswich is a nice 3-0 win. Bill Gem twice. Wow, the left back is scoring goals from that position and Belchior popping up with one. Ah, uh, the fans aren't really pleased with Winco at Valladolid. Interestingly enough, I think the guy behind him with the uh, blue hairband, pretty sure he was one of our ex-players as well. Ipswich can have him back if they want. Careful, we might take you up on that. Ipswich Town against Nottingham Forest. Let's have a bit of team management, swap the centre-backs around. Seeing a lot of happy faces, that's good. Lawa needs more game time. Another win? Of course it is. Westberg. Now we are firing. And the background has changed for Europa League action. And it is time to get the incentives out because this is a monumental for a championship side to be experiencing this. And because the loan system is totally busted, that's seemingly what we're relying on more and more as this uh, save progresses. Every game that we win in the Europa League adds one overall to every player that played, even the substitutes. Omladic is up front for Roma. Just think about how much overall we could improve, but then there comes a risk of what players you apply and assign to the Europa League. And I'm not going to go stupid on it, like the guys who are already up in the 80s, they will have a limit set. It's a big game first, and we want to make sure this team is ready for it. We've taken out Giannini, we've put on Geraldo, who I think is a better finisher overall. Interesting to see what Omladic does in a different environment. Roma against Ipswich. Nice header by Geraldo. Where's Maurice McKenzie jumps over the tackle. Goals in there to so just keep it ticking. It's what it is. Great holding midfield play. And he gets the ball there for Belchior! Belchior, na na na. Belchior, na na na. Goal sees it all happening in front of him. Ocon will be one of his favourites to try and find. It's another excellent pass, this time just off the mark. And we have an injury, which is always not nice to see, but at least it's not for one of our players. Ocon got a touch way upfield. Westberg, yes, that's Belchior onside. Here's Ferguson for 2 0 lip switch. Jumping over the advertising boards and having it large in Rome. Onto the edge of the box. Wing back's not getting there, but goal is the last one by how many more times are we going to mention his name? This is Belchior. There's goal. Back heel that doesn't work. Unknown Uruguayan man has a running chance. A one-on-one. -on -one. It's got to be a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh! That is an outstanding 2-0 victory. Bobby Monk. I mean, the smile is very noticeable. Must be so pleased. We figured it out. 
We've unlocked everything at this football club. The potential now is limitless. Back to the slog of the championship. It's away against Swansea City for a 1-0 victory. There's Giannini on the scoreboard on the tally for the season. In the EFL Cup, it's Ipswich against Doncaster. Yeah, we're still in that competition. 4-0 Martina, goal I'm not Ferguson. After nine games, it's 17 points and a spot in fourth place. West Ham got relegated down here. This is Derby County against Ipswich. Let's see what scoreline it is. Derby County, nil. Ipswich Town, three. Lawa, Lawa, Lawa hat trick. Andy Parry's clean sheet leader. Got a transfer value of 34 million pounds. Five clean sheets over nine games. We'll take in the second game of the Europa League. Legia Warsaw beat Panathinaikos in the opening match day. Might see a little bit of Tua settle. Try and push his overall to 76. That would be a turnaround. Tua settle becoming a competent footballer would be legendary. Ip switch down against Legia Warsaw. Yield Sylvanga also a unit. There is high in this team now. Cash your minds back to the first season. And we had the talented centre-backs already. And Martina and Okamura. Of course, they didn't have potential back then. There was a bit of a worry about what the future held with the centre-backs. But they kept on going at the top. Of the talents though hit up a land and although we had to find alternatives because of the personality that he was dealt with at the start of the season oh it hits the crossbar there obey apparently something's flagged up westberg might have been offside so hit up a land top of the talents how good can he be? Sky is the absolute limit. It's some test to be better than Okamura and Martina. Oh, that's Belchior's. All day, every day, 1-0 Ipswich Town. If Hidapalan can be anywhere near as good as Okamura and Martina. That is like 32, 34 million pounds well spent. Can't remember the exact figure. Belchior is having a monumental season. He's bagging goals. He finds play. He gets it back. He hits the inside of the post. The simple balls. There it is over Westberg. Back to Aubert. Bogdanov. Get, get onside, Bogdanov. There you are. It is Bogdan Bogdanov. Oh, assist. There you are. There you are. Aubert. 2-0. Bogdanov should be onside. He up. I mean, there's a massive hole. It's Tua Settle. He can't miss. Go on, Tua. Where's Bogdan Bogdanov? Oh, fizzed in by Tua Settle. Having a great display. It's Belchior. How have you missed that, pal? Seen some weird things. Dompe becoming a good player. I remember that. Tua Settle would be outrageous. Lovely stop there by Hidapaland. And then just starts motoring. He's got it. He's so got it. Tua Settle with the cheap! Oh my goodness! Tua Fakalele Settle! It is so precise, it is so unlike Tua Settle. It is stunning. And we might have just found something. What? I've not seen Tua Settle play like this. Seconds remain, I don't think we've got the time. It's Ipswich Town 4, Legia Walsall 0. Clean sheet again for that defence. Bad news, three months. Teco tolls, toe takes time to treat. Sick. JH, loving the series. Maybe a Plymouth Argyle save next FIFA would make an Argyle fan very happy. Well, I did Plymouth Argyle in FIFA 14, so they're definitely not on the list of teams to manage soon i've already got my team for fifa 22 i'm sure you'll be very very happy when it is announced when it is announced i'm not going to announce it just yet but that is all sorted sorry plymouth argyle fans you're gonna have to wait but you do have enka pow all the way back in that old youth squad legend series to idolize lad you should have a violet third kit well all these kits were designed by the people on the stream at the time and i think they've done an all right job uh, weirdly, I tried to apply the mod and it wasn't working, so I've had to go through the editor to apply it. Very, very strange. And we got Patrick Longo. My body parts are shaking just thinking about what kind of mythical beast the broken lone moves in this game will turn Wise Man into. He is going to be a monster, mate. All our collective body parts should be shaking. 
because it is going to be a wonderful site. Before we go, I wanted to drop a little advertisement for the Discord server because uh, last couple of weeks we've been reinventing it, rejuvenating it, and I want you guys who are not in the Discord server to experience it, to be honest. Um, over there, we've actually got like haiku competitions. So much like this episode, the winner of the haiku competition gets featured on Youth Squad Legends, which is awesome. We've got like scenarios. I've got like a pool of scenarios being created by our Discord members. Lots of football manager stuff going on, including Dare to Dream with Djibouti, my huge custom database around the African nation of Djibouti. There's also like random player prize drops, so you can collect all the old youth squad legends in some kind of like trading card fashion i guess and the guy who like collects the most through the week becomes the collector of the week it's just great it's great fun it's a lot of work but great great fun and there is so much more interaction on the discord server which is exactly what we planned on doing so if you are interested in all of that fun stuff then please come and join the discord server this has been cutsy thank you ever so much for watching this episode of youth squad legends we continue to listen to your feedback and recently it's been super positive on this series and that's exactly what we want to see going into FIFA 23 knowing exactly what you guys want to see from youth squad legends we are going to make a series that slaps i've got no doubt about that team to be announced soon consider giving this video a like if you've enjoyed it maybe pressing the red box and subscribing to the channel that would be great if you haven't done so already bell icon as well for mobile notifications and a big thanks to everybody on the right hand side supporting me financially on patreon an unbelievable group of people that show the kind of generosity on offer in the community even with the tough times that everybody is experiencing love seeing it all click today we got the confidence to win that premier league to win the champions league and uh, give this series the ending that it deserves. You guys take care. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Settle. Da 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 da. Oh, to a settle. Da 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 da. Where did that come from? Can you do that every week, please?